Hey guys, Agent Number 8 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. Last time, we bid some challenges with a chocobo trader here, and it drove us crazy. Well, it drove me crazy doing the challenges anyway, but uh, for now, we're going to carry on going through the calm lands here. I'm going to head back down south, because there's somebody I want to talk to in the calm land. So, pretty much, we come back exactly the way we came. And we get another random ball. Ooh, and it's another Marlboro. Okay, guys, we know how to deal with Marlboros. So if I use Provoke on it, that's exactly why I've got First Strike on Tidus. Because if a Marlboro ambushes you and uses bad breath, you're pretty much screwed. So ooh, we get a nice remedy out of that. Uh, Tidus just attack. I need to make sure that you keep on staying in the party. Uh, let's get Orin in here. So be it. Ooh, 4,500 damage. So because I've got Provoke on him, he'll just keep on attacking Tidus. Which is fine by me. So, Yuna. Uh, I don't want... I'll steal from this. Damn. Screw you, Marlboro. Ooh, critical hit. Okay, we need to get everybody a turn, so Kimari, if you can come in. Uh, if you could steal for me. Damn, see, this Marlboro ain't giving me anything. Okay, Lulu, if you can overkill it. What next? Well, what's next is a Farraga to the face of this Marlboro. Overkill. That's what I like to see. Overpowered magic. Ooh, we got a nice double penalty for Waka. I wonder what that is. Ooh, Poison Touch and Silence Touch. That's not a bad weapon. That's not a bad weapon at all. If I want to include status effects, but... I'll keep his, uh... I'll keep his current weapon on him. But I want to go over here... Because there should be... A random ball! Ooh, we've got some new enemies as well. We've got some anacondors. So, Tidus, if you could attack one of them. Uh, Kimari, I want you to steal. Get some nice petrified grenades. And Lulu, if you could use Ferrara on that one. That would be great. Ah, oh, no overkill. Okay, Riku, I want you to mug the anacondor. We get absolutely nothing from it. Right, Waka, I want you to defend because... Oh. Damn. Stone Gaze. Okay. That's fine. Yuna, because of your new amazing use command, if you could use an Arbed potion. Gives us a nice heal. Ah, and it cures the petrification. Uh, Oren, I can't remember if Kamari's had a turn. So, oh, well, he gets a chance to have a turn. Okay, so let's use an overdrive. Let's use thrust kick. Rawr! Overkill. Good mark, Kimari. Get some AP. So now we should see. Ah! We got our old Aeon friend. Oh, you again. Belgamine. You're quite a notorious trader these days. Well, you're the notorious What's traitor. It to you? You're the one who attacked me last time. Okay, stop hitting me! Christ! I thought this was a friendly battle! A friendly contest, of course. Bullshit. You shouldn't take with the maester. I am forgot. For summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? No, we do our own yeah. thing. The Summoners Club. So, are you up to the task? Of I not course know, I am. But I will do my best. Nah, you, you're the best summoner in the world. But you'll need more to beat Sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. Mm, what shall I do? Fight. Always fight. Excellent. But before we begin... I've just healed your Aeons for you. Let us begin. Well, thank you for healing my Aeons, but if you're going to attack me again like you did last time, I'm more interested. Ooh, no, a nice full overdrive as well to use. Ah, oh, so you're going to use question mark against us, are you? Okay. I see your game, Belgamine. 
But it's alright, because I'm going to use my new overpowered Aeon. Well, he's not new, but... Choose your Aeon well, oh, I'll choose my Aeon well. Go, Bahamut! Overpowered King of Dragons! With a full overdrive! Nothing can stop him. He's so badass, he crosses his arms. Okay, Bahamut, attack him! Oh, here. What? 400 damage? Okay. Yeah, so basically, this Shiva has really high defense. It doesn't matter if you use a physical attack like that. Or if you use, like, say, I don't know, if I try Faraga on the Shiva. Yeah, see, he's going to do very low damage. But because I have a full overdrive, Bahamut doesn't really give a shit about that. Because he's going to use Mega Flare. Overpowered Summoner Overdrive Attack. Will it kill Shiva? No, it doesn't. Holy shit, guys. We didn't overkill it. This was a mistake. Okay. Bahamut, attack. Oh, we nearly killed it. <laughs> we got it within one attack of it dying. Ah, see, Belgamina, you didn't plan for my overdrive, did you? Stop. That is enough. Yeah, well, while I kill your oh, it's enough, isn't it? Yeah, go Bahamut. We get nothing for defeating it, as per usual. <sighs> Impressive. Remarkable talent. Well, you know. Traitor or no, you may have what it takes to beat Zen. Oh, I definitely Take have this. what it takes. You have earned it. Oh, we get 30 power spheres, which is absolutely useless. But what isn't useless is the Aeon's Thank soul. I think and that allows us to that. raise our Aeon's attributes. But if you ever feel like you want more training, seek the hidden temple of Remium. Ah, okay. I will be waiting there. Farewell. Make a mental note of that, guys. Remium Temple. So, because we have the Aeon Soul, this is basically going to talk us through going through all the attributes. Uh, it's not something I normally do, but, you know, it just costs too much uh, items to do it. I mean, yeah, okay, if you're low stats, then it costs 10 power spheres to raise your strength by 1. But, I mean, if you have, like, 99 power spheres, you're only going to raise it by 9 points. Which isn't really a lot, if you think about it. But, okay, now that we've done that, let's head on over to this little rest stop here. So, let's go over here. Hello! Oh, okay, they're following behind me. Oh, who's this guy? Father Zook. Oh, great, another Yevonite. You are Yuna? No. Hmm. I'm Riku. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinox murderer. What? What you say? What? We never killed no one. Well, except for Seymour twice. Please tell us what has happened. Mr. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. Oh, great. What's he said? You and your guardians murdered Mr. Kinox and fled. Bullshit. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. So killing a so killing a maester is a death warrant. So why aren't they hunting Seymour down? Surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kinok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Oh right, okay. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. Yeah, that's true. But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. Ah, uh, so alright, we got all the aeons we need anyway. For your warning. Father, oh. you came all the way here just I to stop dropping this? controllers. To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see this summoner you are guarding. What about it? I hope her pilgrimage goes well. Well, I think everybody in Spira wants it to go well. Oh, okay. Thank so you, Father. What's it to Lulu then anyway? I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Isn't he a nice Yevonite? The first nice one we've seen all game. Oh, so what's with the backstory of Lulu, then? 
There's something going on, guys. Tell me. So, we are officially traitors then. Oh, we were traitors hey, ages ago. Want. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's okay. I'm not worried. Well, maybe just a little. Who cares if we're traitors? It's so hard. Yevon's not to corrupt be. anyway. Hey, it's okay to worry. And if it gets too rough, just yell. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I might just do that. Just, yes. just yell at the top of our voices and it means absolutely nothing. So, Lulu, what's going on? Who is that? Yeah. Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. Oh, so you've done this before. I have a short pilgrimage. He gave up halfway. Here, on this plane. Well, I now wouldn't really call it halfway. The Temple. This is my third pilgrimage as a guardian. Third? You don't have a very she high success rate. Second. And my first? Well. Well, it what? Ended here too. Oh. I've never been to the lands beyond. You don't have very good luck, do you, Lulu? Mount Gagazet towers to the north. And Xanarkand lies beyond that. Ah, so we're nearly there. Perfect. Mount Gagazet oh, Okay, tower. I know. Okay. I wonder if my father got lost here too. Nah. Maybe. With my old man helping him. <laughs> with Orin as well. Ask Sir Orin. Orin? Well, that grouch never tells me anything. <laughs> that grouch. That none of your business. <laughs> That's not a very good impression. Not that he keeps out of other people's business. You know what I mean? Just a little farther to Xanarkand. Just, we're nearly there. So, Walker, tell me more about this pilgrimage. When I was guarding Zook, I already told you this, yeah? Have you? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. Oh, yeah, you did say so, something about that. But Father Zook said he wanted out. Tell you the truth, I was kind of glad. You are, because you could concentrate on your blitz ball, you selfish Santa prick. Right around the corner. So close already. What do you mean already? We've been going at this for ages. So, uh, Kimari, what's the gossip? Gagazet is Ronso land. Kimari home. Oh, okay. Mm, we don't even really learn much about the Ronso. Family. Kimari has no the only ones we've ever met are those Birana Yankee. Sorry. Who keep on bullying Kimari. But Kimari not alone. Kimari has strength Sacred of the Ronso. Gagazet, not changed for 1,000 years. Maybe that's a bad thing. Oh, well, it could be a good thing as well, I guess. So, Warren. I hear that you got lost in the Calmlands. Messy. It what was very that? messy. Yevon, Micah and Seymour are not of one mind. Yeah, well, one's I old and one's Seymour corrupt. Said last we met. I do not think Micah will concur. No, I don't think so either. But then Micah's Yevon corrupt as well. Us. So will Spira. Nah, we will be fine. So, uh, Riku. She's not stopping, is she? Nope. Yuna. She's made her decision. She's gonna go to Zalakin and kick Sin's ass! Just let her go. We won't have to. No, we're gonna think we'll of something. Save Yuna, even if she calls the final Aeon. Yeah! But how? Mm, I'll think of a way. Well, we haven't got long to think of a plan. I'm tired of talking to you. <laughs> it's always but this, but that. But! But! I knew I fucking knew it. Let's think together. Don't trust Riku Tita. Okay. She doesn't know anything. And if we can't think of something, we find another way. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the other way is yet, but we'll work out something. Uh, this is a toughie. Well, if it was that easy, someone would have thought of it by now. Hello. Ooh, what weapons have we got? Ooh. You sell very good weapons. I'm gonna buy... Ooh, no, I'm not gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. I'm... Well, there's no point in buying that. That's the same. Oh, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. Uh, I'm not interested in your HP. Although, I will buy that one for one. Because you've got nothing really better to put on. Um, nope, I'm done. Oh, I'm gonna do a quick save job, though. So, I'll be right back. And we're back. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, okay. What's a Sid want? 
But he says, We've gone to repair the airship. We'll come get you when we're done. Until then, keep you safe or you'll be sorry, kids. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a message from Sid, all right? Okay, I think we are done here in this little rest spot here. So, guys, time to move on out. Now, I want to get to a certain other place as well. But first of all, I want to customize some of my new equipment that I just bought. So, um, for Auron there, I want to put on him. Is there another strength I can put on him? Yeah, we'll, we'll put another 3% on him. Uh, for Auron, um, for Waka, sorry. Let's, we'll put a sensor on him. Just for, you know, something half decent. I'm going to take the um, evade encounter off him, I think. I'd rather have the strength on there, to be honest. So, we'll have that. But I want to head off to the right here. Because there's somewhere I want to get to before the end of the episode. So, let's see if we can make it. It's actually really interesting, and we are going to be spending a lot of time in that place. But, yep, we'll get another random encounter. Which we are ambushed by. Oh, screw you, buddy wasp. Poisoning Kimari. Oh, now all you're going for is Kimari. Okay, Waka, if you can take out that Nibros for me. Overkill. Kimari, if you can take out the Shred. Overkill. And Auron, uh, there's nothing really I want you to do, so defend. Not that it helps in any way at all against magical attacks, but still. Okay, Tidus, I want you to just attack. Ooh, you actually got a decent hit on him. Uh, Yuna, I want you to come in and do a steal for me. Get some more fire gems from the flame flam. Uh, Riku, go next. Come on, give me some more fire gems. Damn. Okay, Oren, you swap out for Lulu. And Lulu can overkill this Fran and we can be on our way. Die, Flan. Overkill. You can't touch us, Flan. We're just too damn powerful. Oh, we get some nice more sphere levels there. Okay, so I want to try and get over right to the very edge there where that green square is. In the minimap there, so let's see if I can make it. Well, I am going to make it, but how many random <laughs> battles am I going to get in the meantime? Okay, so Flame Flan's got some more friends, so uh, Riki, I want you to mug the Flame Flan. Okay, Yuna, I want you to overkill that Flame Flan so bad. 8,100 damage. Now that is an overkill. Uh, Waka, if you come in and take care of that dog for me. Ooh, kill. Uh, Lulu defend. I don't want to kill that uh, machina just yet. This ends now. No, it doesn't end now. It'll end when I get Tidus in. So Tidus, I want you to come in and I want you to use your overdrive. Because the more overdrive we use, the more we can unlock. Oh, damn. Second time. That's fine. Go on, Tidus. Can we do max damage? Come on, Tidus. You can do it. Ooh, 7,900. That's still good enough. That's still an overkill. That's all I care about. Get some sphere levels. Oh, I forgot to use Kamari. Oh, well. Kamari's going to be very useful up and coming. But to see if I can get there without another random encounter. But yeah, we're going to be heading over to a certain person who lives in the Karmats. Ooh, an ogre. We haven't seen one of these yet. So, Tidus... Get rid of the dogs. Well, get rid of one dog, anyway. Okay, Riku. I want you to mug the ogre. Ooh, get a nice stamina spring off it. Okay, Lulu. If you could... Well, Tiger. Ooh, he's actually weak to lightning and fire. So we'll use Thundaga on the dog there. Oh, it's still alive! Holy shit! Okay, Oren, can you go for the ogre? Ooh, nice damage. Kamari, if you could steal from the skull, get a dream powder. The more items we get, the better. Gives us more customizable options. Okay, Waka, go for the dog. Overkill. Now, Yuna, 
What are you weak to, Ogre? Fire! Oh, have I got a Faraga spell with your name on it, Ogre? Overkill! 8,600 damage! Yuna is by far the most best mage in this party. And there's only two of them, but she's still the best. Okay, we're there. Now, this little area here in the Calm Lands is home, if I can get it to load up, to the Monster Arena. Now, the Monster Arena is somewhere where you can go around all the Spira, capturing the fiends you go up against. And for a fee, you can fight the same fiends over and over again. But, problem is, this guy's lost all the fiends. So, but he offers really good rewards for getting the fiends back for him. But in order to do that, we need to get a certain type of weapon. And he is the only person in the game that sells these weapons. As he says, defeat it with a special kind of weapon. Oh, thank you, sell them to us. Oh, kid, do me a favour. By the way, you got to buy the weapons from me to do it. Right, so yeah, the maximum we can catch is 10 of any fiends, so... But, you know, we need to get some fiends, so... Okay, there's nine species in the Calm Lands, and we need to go find them. Yeah, 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 you've told us. Okay, so the way these capture weapons work, is that the killing blow needs to be a physical attack. So if you've got, like, say, I don't know, a thousand HP left, you deal 2,000 damage, you capture the fiend. So rather than killing it, you capture it. So, for our melee factors, we want to pick up these capture weapons. So, Yuna's not going to be physically attacking, so we don't need one for her. Uh, we'll get one for Waka. We'll get one for Kimari. We'll get one for Oren. And we'll get one for Riku as well. We might as well. Get them all round. So, it's only going to be Lulu and Yuna who cannot use the capture. Well, because it's, it's a physical attack that needs it. So, let's quickly have a look at those new weapons. Because I want to capture, I want to put some certain abilities on them. So, for the actual, for Auron and for Kimari, I want to put piercing on them. Because at least then, you know, we can get through the uh, the hard enemy shell as such. So we'll do that. Uh, for Waka, I want to put sensor on his, so that we can actually look at the enemies. Uh, Tidus, I'll put sensor onto his as well. Now for Riku, I'm going to leave that blank for now. Because I'm going to be putting something different onto his. So, whilst I also have the opportunity, I'm going to do a bit of my sphere gridding. So, I'll do that for you now. Okay, so we sorted that out, and I'm going to take the opportunity to end the episode here. So, yep, we've done quite a lot this episode. We've taken on Belgamine, we've taken her, we've destroyed her Aeons, and she's given us an invitation to go up to Remium Temple, which I'm sure we're going to be taking advantage of. Uh, we've also you know, a little, little bit of a backstory between Lulu and Waka and their uh, previous pilgrimages there, and... Uh, We've also found this guy, the Monster Hunter. So, next time, we're going to be doing some capturing of the Calm Lands Fiends. And we might take a visit to the Remium Temple as well. So, yeah, this has been Agent Number 8. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And hopefully, catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Laters. Hey, guys. Keep up to date with everything involved with the channel on Twitter at Agent Number 8 LP.